When it comes to recycling waste materials such as paper, plastic, and glass, a lot of people would use the option of recycling bins, such as this one that you can see here. Yeah, and this is what most people were taught to do at school. It is also a simple method that doesn't require a lot of intelligence to commit. But is that always a good option? No, recycling bins don't always turn out to be as reliable as people think. Since the materials gathered from the bins are often being sent to large industrialized recycling plants, and that is where the materials will be turned into other useful things, such as glass bottles will be turned into bricks for building, or the plastic bottles will be turned into the materials for paving roads. The large-scale industrialized recyclings often consume a lot of energy, and it can also、uh, passively or directly create harmful materials such as an excessive amount of greenhouse gases or some waste waters that may be quite harmful to marine life. Yeah, this is without a doubt quite economical, and it can save a lot of materials from being wasted. But it is still not particularly friendly to the environment. Another reason is that in some cases, the materials gathered from the recycling bins were being abandoned because there are just too much impurities in it. Wow! Another common way for recycling is to utilize your own creativity to convert so-called waste materials into something that you find useful. Now, for example, I've converted an old shrunken T-shirt into a backpack with the help of some white strings. I've also converted some used plastic food and drink containers into pots for planting seedlings. Um, by piercing some holes in the bottom and filling it up with soil. Now, this is actually a lemon seedling that I've planted there not long ago. What about plastic bottle caps or lids? This is a waste material that can be found all over the world now, and has also turned out to be quite detrimental to marine life because their use is so overrated, and they're also really cheap to produce. So I decided to cut off the rim of one of them and then drill some holes in the center. And can you guess what it can be used for? That's I decided to use it as a mechanism for providing better drainage and preventing the soil from sliding away from this planting pot. It also turned out to be a cheaper and lighter alternative to using drainage pebbles.、Um, what about the use of the plastic bottle itself? Now it can be cut up into certain shapes and converted into a. Container for everyday items such as toothbrush and combs.、Um, in various other parts of the world, used glass bottles were being used to build walls and houses, and used plastic bottles were being gathered in a large amount and used to build ships and canoes. These are only a handful of examples. There are still many examples out there. And recycling by yourself is always a better option. And industrialized recycling should always be considered as a secondary resort. So once again, creativity is what makes the human species so successful in the first place. And thank you for watching. And if you like our content, please feel free to share this video. And there will also be links to other of our videos down in the description below.